Welcome back to DC Reviews. Today we're gonna go over how I clean a keyboard. So this is a keyboard I picked up earlier today. Um, these, this is a DAS keyboard with uh, cherry red switches. So let's listen. Uh, yeah, very nice, very linear. So, you know, go straight down about 45 grams of force. Uh, very nice. So I pretty much I picked this up for work purposes, not for gaming. Uh, these go for about 130 to 150 new. I got it used for 40 bucks off of Craigslist. So I like getting deals. I'm sure everyone likes a deal. Um, it is pretty good condition overall. It's got like this gloss finish, which it looks fine. Dirty. The, the uh, keycaps are very grimy, very dirty. But uh, it's a nice, very solid feeling keyboard. Got, you know, it's just a basic. These things have been around for a while. So this is the DAS keyboard, designed in Austin, Texas. So let's go over it. Um, got four rubber feet. Got one level of height adjustment, which I will need. So what do I do when I clean? And my keyboard. I have a microfiber towel. I did run this on the water, make it damp, squeeze out all the water. You don't want water going into your keyboard, but you want it damp because it, um, you know, it picks up the grime better. You want a keycap puller. You want a X Power. This is pretty much a electronics blow blower air gun per se. It came with these attachments for different sizes. Um, I'm gonna pretty much use this one because it it'll blow into the specific tight areas I want. And it also came with this little uh, brush that I will be able to brush to uh, get all the grime off. I don't know what's underneath the keys, but we'll find out together. So first you take your microfiber towel, just clean the, uh, the rubber feet, a couple of swipes, boom, like new. Overall, this keyboard's pretty good condition. Getting it for you know, a quarter of what it costs new. No issues with that. So, all right, good as new on the bottom already. Edges. Yeah, just get the edges a wipe. And now comes. You can give the the gloss border a wipe. Let's take the keys out. Now, I like to keep track of the keys just so it makes it easier when it's time to put it back. So, pretty much, as you pull them out, just run it by, run it, run it by the uh, microfiber. Pretty much, you just cleaning each cap as you pull them out, and then you want to set them in order so you can know where things go. You don't want any surprises. And 
by the time you're done, you'll pretty much have a new keyboard. So if you see in here, a little bit of grime, not too bad. But yeah, these keys, pulling them out, you definitely, definitely probably a year or more's worth of grime, dust, just sitting on the caps. And it's a good idea to maybe do it once a year, once every other year. You just don't want to have stuff in between the keys if you can help it. Yeah, and you're seeing stuff underneath the keys, which is uh, why we're doing this. A little bit of grime here. All right, what's next? Pause button. And, and uh, I'll say I clean this up. I wanted to sell it. I probably double my money. Uh, yeah, probably sell it for eighty bucks. But you know, I highly recommend you guys, especially the. So it looks like the demographic that watch my channel are between say 14 and 32 and it's 99.9% .9 male thank you to the one percent point oh one percent woman that watch but a lot of you guys mentioned that oh I can't afford this Oh, you're so lucky to have all these keyboards and mice and honestly you can make money buying and selling things at a buying things at a good price you know a low price and selling it for more It's very easy to do. Now, there's no reason why anyone can't do it um, unless, you know, unless you don't have a car. A lot of times you'll have to travel anywhere from, you know, I've traveled anywhere from five minutes to an hour or two to pick up some, some, I think I traveled like an hour one time to sell a video card that I bought for five, 500, I think I sold it for six. It's 1080 Ti for the Win 3. So, it's a little bit of work, but if you're uh, strapped on cash you can always you know just know know what things are worth know that you can't lose money on it so just I don't buy anything used unless I can unless I know I can sell it for at least what I got for it some 
I guess I'll just be losing my time and that does suck but at least you're not losing money at the same time so honestly from what I've seen so far not too dirty so that's good but I haven't gone into here which is here's where the fingers are most of the time so once we get in there but the keys yeah the keys definitely need a wipe down you're not gonna do a good job with the keycaps on there so you gotta take the caps off wipe it down you know probably won't take any more than a half hour and that's you know, going at a nice pace a relaxed pace if you want to go crazy then you know, maybe 20 minutes and just get all four sides get the top you're good to go And I really like buying used items because that means someone's already taken the depreciation or the used factor. And generally, as soon as you open some, it loses money. Um, no, I, I think actually that's, that's always the case. But there are still items that are worth more than what you pay, even though they're used. Such as the final mouses. Those you can buy for, you know, anywhere from, I think they used to be 70. They used to be 70, now they're, now they're 90. And you sell them for, you used to sell them for 200 bucks to 300 bucks on eBay, I think, before the Air 58s came out. And now you can probably sell them for, I don't know, the Air 58s I'm probably going for. Whoop, some broke. The stabilizer things. It's alright, I'm gonna place them. The Air 58s, I think they're selling for like a buck fifty. But people only paid 90 bucks. Break this one. Okay, so they have like a retaining clip. So I just wave down the sides and slap it back on. Or just wait a little later after I blow it out. Caps, so I don't 
so I don't. these back on real quick. Putting in the caps, and I'll just press down all the way so that they uh, level. Two keys drop to the ground. I'll get those later. Right, let's key. Let's get to the main course. We'll see what we find in here. Oh, I dropped another one. Let's get to the center of this and see what we find. piece of lint this is kind of just like maintenance it's like vacuuming your car when's the last time I did that <laughs> It's been a while. Do, do, do. Yes, yeah, so I just picked this up. Uh, you know, the keyboards they give you at work or generic, shitty, sticky. Um, sticky in there. They slow down production. So I figure just pick one up and bring it in, and I'll be more productive, which will be good for my boss and the company. This keyboard itself, they have kind of different stabilizers. 
So they kind of stay attached even when they're pulled out. So then we just clean the caps and we'll blow around it. Be the same. a lot of dust and grime on the sides of these keys and you know when you're buying a used keyboard that shouldn't be anything to worry about especially on these uh, mechanical keyboards Buy my dirt. See you in a couple years. So the only thing you gotta worry about is someone going into your office and yoinking this nice keyboard. So everyone else is using a five ten dollar keyboard. You got one that's buck thirty, even though I only paid forty. Wouldn't be very happy to go in and see it's missing, you know. So that's the only risk. Oop, another big piece of lint in there. how I found this deal. So I always check on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, for, they're the two most popular ones, um, for me at least. If you're looking for computer parts, anything, I, mean, I like Mar Facebook Marketplace the most, it has the most, uh, Seems like that kind of replaced Facebook. I mean, uh, Craigslist. Over the years. But, yeah, I mean, it seems a little safer just because there's a profile involved where Craigslist is more um, you know, anonymous. But anyways, this was off Craigslist. I saw, I've been looking for a little bit and I just didn't want to spend a bunch of money for something that's, I mean, I'm gonna be using it like seven hours a day, but um, having the risk of someone coming in and stealing it kind of sucks. So you don't want uh, anything Brand new, better off buying some used. And just cleaning it up so that it looks brand new. So I found it. Oh, look at all that lint right there. I found it 
Das Cubo and Cherry MX Red, 40 bucks. Said, Damn, it's low enough where I don't even have to negotiate. So I just messaged him. It was a young, uh, it was a young Asian guy, so you, know, you don't know what they are until you show up. So the young Asian guy, um, so you are. The young Asian guy, pretty much, he said, here it is. I said, uh, cool, looks decent. And exchange 40 bucks for the keyboard and you yeah, off you go. You know, he pretty much lived in a condo. Gave me the address. I went there and uh, texted him. He came out. Exchange and off we go. Very nice and easy. I've been buying and selling off of Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace for the last 10 years. Have not had any, any issues as far as, say, getting robbed. But there have been a few items that I kind of regretted buying. Um, like sometimes items have a smoke smell. So that sucks. You have to let it air out for a long time. But it's, you know, smoke smell doesn't go away. But luckily, this one does not have that. So it's, it's kind of funny, but you gotta smell your stuff before you buy it. Getting towards the end, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in there. So this is what you're, uh, this is what you're trying to get rid of. I try to do it, um, you know, once a year. But I think maybe I change, change my equipment around too much, where that year doesn't come. And uh, if you're going to sell anything, it's good to clean it up first. But like, say, this guy, he's selling it for a quarter of the original price. So, yeah, you don't really have to clean it up. But I always clean up items before I sell it just so that when the person gets home, they can start using it without having to wipe it down or kind of like a courtesy thing. Or if I sell anything on eBay, I'll uh, clean it up real nice. Just so. Just so there's no issues. And always test. Test the items before you sell it. Last row. going to be way better than what I'm using now at work.
which is the key cap holder for my Ducky 1 2 Mini that I picked up recently. It's working all right. in the center kind of a kind of expected you know, here and there. see there's a lot of it's gone but there's still um, stuck on stuff so let's just use a little brush and to new and that's pretty much it put the keycaps back in your set I'll uh, check back with you next time <laughs>